Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are going to start a new Python for data science series where we are going to practice and solve interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Airbnb, Netflix and Google that is FANG companies or as we now know it as MANG companies. If you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer or software engineer roles, we are going to cover all the aspects. In total, I can see there are about 250 odd questions in Google, Meta, Apple, Amazon and Netflix. My current plan is to start with one of the FANG companies, say Google, complete everything and then move to meta but let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to alternate between these companies like for example one video on google next on meta apple and then come back to google and sixth video and so on whatever you guys prefer so yeah let's learn python for data science using fang interview questions so in this video we are going to solve this question on status scratch regarding finding the top 10 hotels with highest ratings this question has been asked in google airbnb expedia interviews and if you are preparing for data engineer data scientist bi analyst data analyst or ml engineer role this is a good question to build your concept so the question reads find the top 10 hotels with the highest ratings Output the hotel name along with the corresponding average score. Sort the records based on average score in descending order. Okay, so basically our input is a pandas data frame called hotel reviews and output is a pandas data frame which looks like this, the hotel name as well as the average score. And if you just look at this output, this is actually not sorted. But the question says that it should be sorted in descending order. So there might be some, you know, typing error for this. But okay, let's review this hotel reviews table where we have a number number of different columns called hotel address, additional number of scoring, review date, what we are concerned about, average score and hotel name. These are the only two columns that we are concerned about. Okay, so now what we need to basically do in this case is we can use the average score column to basically rank these different hotels in descending order of the average score. So basically highest average score gets rank one and then next highest gets rank two and so on. Now ranking can be done using various methods, right? If you have followed my SQL series, there were multiple ways of ranking. So there was something called row number, then there is a rank function, then there is a dense rank function, etc. The main difference between rank and dense rank is how they deal with the ties or identical values in a column that you are using to rank. So in this case, we need to use something that is similar to the rank function in SQL that is minimum ranking. Okay, so let's start solving this. So basically what we need to do is from in this uh, data frame called hotel reviews, let's create so hotel reviews, let me create a column called rank, right? So let me create a column called rank. And basically what we are going to do is we need to take the hotel review uh, data frame and then take the average score column and then basically use the dot rank method so dot rank the method should be like how we are going to rank it is something called minimum and ascending should be false so ascending equal to false means basically start rank one with the highest average score once this column is created let's return the hotel reviews data frame and only key because this has a lot of unnecessary columns as well which we do not require in our output so let us you know just return the columns that we need hotel name average score and rank and if i go ahead and run this so if you see right so hotel name average score and rank let me also go ahead and sort values and uh, by which column so let me take by average score in descending so let's see like if the highest average score was assigned rank one right so this is just for demonstration purposes right i'm just trying to show you how can we rank and what is the difference between various ways of ranking in python so here now if you see there is a hotel name called 41 who has average score of 9.6 who got a rank one right similarly 9.5 got rank two and then the interesting case is here. So here you have two different hotels where the average score was 9.4 and 9.4. So there is a tie. So both of them were assigned rank 3. But then the next one, 9.3, you might be thinking that, okay, this should be assigned rank 4, but it actually skips. So basically, this is exactly same as how the rank function ranks in SQL. So here, basically, if there is a tie, it will skip one rank. If there are three rows with the same value, so it is all, everything is assigned 777, and then the next one should be assigned, you skip 
2. So you skip 8 and 9 and finally this is assigned rank 10. So you see this is the way of doing it. Now let me just show why we should not go ahead and do this with dense method. So here I am just you know uh, renaming this to rank using minimum method. If I just copy this right. So let me just copy this and paste it again rank dense and if I just change this to dense and in my output if I you know keep rank M as well as keep rank D right let me now run this okay so if you look at it right so here we saw that okay minimum method ranks this as 3 and 3 but dense method never skips so even if there are ties dense method never skips the rank so in this case if you use the dense method you are actually going to have a lot more hotels than what you are going to have in the minimum method because if you are asked to only keep right so here the question says the top 10 hotels right so if you are only going to keep top 10 basically rank is less than equal to 10 your cutoff would be here based on minimum method but if you use the dense method your cutoff is going to be way below and you are going to have all these hotels right so Lagares, St. James, Westcourt etc also which is not what we want so that is why you know this is what I just wanted to demonstrate you that which method should be used to rank okay so now once I am done with this demonstration so we know that we need to use this minimum method so let me just remove this right this was just for demonstration purposes and rank let's keep rank M as rank M and then we need to only keep the top 10 hotels so basically we need to perform a boolean indexing so what we can do is hotel reviews then hotel reviews of column rank m rank minimum it should be less than equal to 10 right so this will keep only those rows where rank is less than equal to 10 and then what we can do is we can cut this entire thing so maybe let's just cut this entire thing and paste it here what does this basically represents that once you keep only those rows where rank is less than 10 only return me the hotel name and average score we do not need rank m and rank d for one pass let me just you know keep the rank m so that we can see that okay we are keeping the correct amount of rows and then let's sort this by average score and ascending in false let me go ahead and run this so now if you look at it we have these many hotels in our output right so now we do not in our output we do not need the rank method we only need the hotel name and average score uh i think this is not sorted but let me just try and run this and let me go ahead and check this right so this looks good but let's see if actually sorting was required or not because here you have sorting is required but in the output you do not see it right so 9.4 then 9.1 9.2 let me go ahead and check this so actually i think this is good because everything is green so yeah, this is how we do it so what we basically did was we created a column called rank based on the minimum method i also showed you what is the difference between minimum method and the dense method of ranking and then once we had the ranks we only kept those rows where rank is less than equal to 10 because that is what the question asks us to do and in our final output we only need two different columns out of the several that are given in the hotel reviews data frame so we have hotel name and average score and then we sorted the values by average score in descending manner right so that the highest average score is at the top so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video